Afternoon guys. So sitting in the car here is Mrs. P is doing some shopping real quick and she needs to get some stuff and it's not where I want to be. <laughs> so, uh, so if you caught this one, this add insult to injury. Okay. Uh, we have a crisis on the Southern border. No question. So it was announced this afternoon that the Potato Administration is going to allow up to 100,000 Ukrainian refugees to seek asylum in the United States and that will house them. Great, more of our tax dollars going. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Special consideration is going to be given to LGBTQ and people with medical issues from the Ukrainian side. And if you've seen the stories, the Ukrainians have said that males between 18 and I believe it's 55 are required to stay in country to help fight. And so there's been all sorts of hullabaloo on the borders as transgender people uh, are going to the border and saying, I identify as a woman, therefore not eligible. And even though they have no documentation, you know, so a guy puts on a dress and says, I identify as a woman, I want to get out. So basically he's a coward. Uh, they're trying to get out and the borders, border patrol people are saying, no, go back. And so of course, Biden in his equity crap needs to give these people special consideration to come to the United States. Now, here's the other part. France is saying that up to one third of the refugees that they are taking from Ukraine are quote unquote economic refugees that are actually originally from the Middle East and North Africa. So they're not even Ukrainians. Now, this is where I want to go even further on this. We've all heard all of the, you need to establish a no-fly zone, NATO needs to send us more weapons, all this sort of crap, right? You know, NATO needs to get involved. This is all Zelensky keeps on saying. I got a question to pose for everybody. Where are all these other former Soviet republics who aren't part of NATO? Georgia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, you know, Kyrgyzstan, any of this. Where are all these countries to support Ukraine? I haven't heard a peep out of them, okay? They're not aligned with Russia, not all of them, not most of them. But you know damn well that they know they're potentially next, all right? If Putin wants to put the Soviet Union back together, which is all the talk, then the former Soviet republics should think, hey, you know, they might want to do it. But are they stepping up to the plate and saying, hey, we'll help you? No. Is Zelensky in Ukraine asking all of them? No. They're asking the West. Why? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because, hey, let's have the West spend their money, use their weaponry, cost their lives to protect us. My answer? Go to hell. Okay? You stay back. You protect your own country. You ain't coming to the United States. I don't give a shit about going to Poland. I don't give a shit about going to France, okay? That's your country. You should stand up and fight for it. Just like I will stand up and fight for my country should any asshole decide to come into the United States and decide they're going to invade. I'm certainly not going to stick my tail between my legs and go run to Canada. I don't work in Hollywood, so, you know... Uh, Obviously, that, that wouldn't work for me. But this is what you've got going on. You've got our United States 
leadership, if you want to use that term, saying, gee, let's take in everybody from South America. Let's take everybody in from Central America. Let's take everybody in from Afghanistan. Let's take everybody in from Ukraine. Well, what happens when China goes to Taiwan? Let's take everybody in from Taiwan. Oh, I don't know, Iran and Israel? Let's take everybody in from Israel. Or let's take everybody in from Iran. What about Turkey and Greece? Oh, let's take them in too. What about India and Pakistan? Oh, let's take them in too. Hell, you want to know the easiest way to come into the United States? Go declare a war. And the leftists that are in charge, the idiots that we've got running this country, are going to say, gee, give us your tired, your poor, your whatevers. And hell, if they've got identity issues, you know, they're even more welcome. And who the hell has to pay for all of this? You and me. You know, $6 a pound for... Uh, chicken breasts or something like that. Mrs. P and I went in this morning. The reason why I'm sitting in the car, we went into Knoxville today after talking on the live stream the other day about going to the Russian grocery. She's like, oh, we haven't been to the Russian grocery. And I said, okay, this would be kind of interesting to go in there and see how uh, sanctions on Russia have hit the Russian grocery. Now, we found Pelmini, all right, but I pointed out to her, it says in there, made in the USA, so it was a normal price. Buckwheat. Okay, this buckwheat is a staple in Russian diets. We used to get it for about $3 a pound. In Russia, it's a dollar a kilo. Okay, so that's two and a half pounds. It was 13 bucks for a half a pound today. Buckwheat. Okay, this isn't something that's just grown in Eastern Europe or something. Now, I can't say whether the store was trying to raise prices on the, oh, gee, you know, the stuff is coming from Europe, because a lot of the stuff in that store is from Europe. Not all of it, but not most of it, a lot of it, but a lot of it. I'm sorry. Most of the stuff is from Europe. Not a lot of it's from the United States. But this is what we've got going on. You and me are going to have to pay higher and higher and higher prices on food. Why? Oh, I don't know. Because there's more mouths to feed, feed supply and demand. Gee, uh, how about rent? Everybody's screaming about rent is going up. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. We've taken in 2 million refugees, or refugees, illegal aliens. Sorry, Katani Brown Jackson, they're illegal aliens. Okay, we've taken all of them in. They got to live somewhere. Gee, how many Afghanis have we taken in? They got to live somewhere. Gee, we're going to take in all these Ukrainians. They got to live somewhere. You know what? This is all coming out of your pockets. I just want you all to think about that real quick. That is what your illustrious leader is doing at this point. Have a good afternoon. Have a love.